flow. So, um, I am going to go over some more modeling pictures shortly. Um, however, I am going to bring up this really weird issue that I dealt with. Now, I know that I look the way I do. In all areas that I had the most difficulty in the entire state of Texas that I went to, in reference to the BDSM LGBTQP swinger lifestyle, was not San Antonio, despite it being a very much of a military town with five military bases there, and I look like I do. Didn't have nearly that many issues when it came to wearing corsetry or different outfits where my tattoos showed far more often. Though I did deal with some, not that much in comparison, realistically. And I went all over the city of San Antonio. It wasn't like, I mean, again, there are five military bases in the, in the city of San Antonio. However, I went all the way from the north side to the south side, central San Antonio, east side to the west side, all, and I'm not just talking about inside and around the 410 loop. I'm even talking about the 1604 loop where I could go in any of those areas, all the way out past I-90 and 1604, did not have problems. I got looks, I don't deny that. <laughs> usually because of this, but not because of my tattoos. Admittedly, usually I was covered in that regard, but didn't really get the commentary that I got in a different area get to that. So I would be asked questions at times, you know, like, why do you have a haircut like that? And then I'd discuss it and we'd talk and usually we'd talk for hours, whoever it was, no big deal. I mean, I hung out with, what was it? Um, Ruby's family, where did, where did they live? They were somewhere in, I think they were close to kind of close to Lackland Air Force Base, but a little bit more south. No big deal. Hung out and talk. No problem. Her family is very sweet. Got to meet some of her friends and stuff like that. Her, pa her parents' friends, her brother's friends, no problem. Hung out with people out well past the Dominion area. Went out to, what, what is it called? I did hang out in Bull Birdie with some people, um, and Blanco, um, well, Joe's house is well past 1604 on Route 16, hung out with a whole bunch of, Medina, I hung out with people in Medina, and, and, and not in a, I'm not using these different areas in a negative way, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to a point, and they're all very nice areas and then there was w the most shocking aspect as to where I got the most amount of grief in reference to what I look like. So in the San Antonio area, not specifically San Antonio, but fairly close, all those are no problem. Universal City, no problem. Not a problem. Inside of the loop of 410, not a problem all and various areas of inside of the loop of 410 not just around like Vance Jackson area but what was the Callahan uh, Castle Hills um, Blanco area and 410 inside the loop um, where 35 and 410 meet inside the loop on that area. 
Um, no problem. I-10 and 410, both sides, inside the loop, no problem. No problem. Every now and then asked, not really that many questions. Now, going to a very different area, different aspect of the state of Texas, because as I've tried to explain to people, different areas of the state of Texas do have different characteristics. So in Fort Worth, no problem at all. Before my haircut and tattoos, well after my haircut and tattoos. From Anglin Drive area, Forest Hill, out to Hemp Hill and stuff like that, no problem at all. Down at the stockyards, walking around, no problem. Did not have any issues with anybody. How dare you look like that? Because I actually got that in the state of Texas. I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get to that. So then, you know, going to the other side, because it's considered a similar vicinity, but on the way in grape, what is it, grapevine? No problem. Arlington? No problem. Not at all. Tarrant County? Anywhere in the vicinity? No problem. No big deal. At least not actually said to my face that it was considered a big deal. <laughs> What's the other area? There's like three or four major areas in between Fort Worth to Dallas. Both sides of 30. Oh, Burleson. I have no problem in Burleson. In Burleson, Texas, nobody gave me any problems in reference to my hair and my tattoos. Not at all. Mm -mm. Not at all. Hanging out in Temple, Texas, which is not near Fort Worth or Dallas, but on the way from San Antonio. No problem. No issues whatsoever. Dallas. Throughout the facility. Flower Mound. No problem. Deep Ellum. No problem. Carrollton. That, there was a problem there. I do acknowledge, ironically, mainly more for my children, meaning my son and my daughter, than me, but still not the biggest, well, in reference to my children, obviously that was a big deal. But as far as people coming at me for how I look, not the biggest one. I hung out in Terrell, Texas, Huntsville, Texas, no problems. Not at all. Various areas of the 635 loop in Dallas. All different areas. No problem. No issues. Not at all. And that and these areas that I'm giving you, while I in some locations wore my corset and skirt or tutus and stuff like that, other times I'd have capris on. And so you'd see some of the, the tattoos and as they progressed my arms, yes. Yes, you saw those if you were looking for the center of my palms to look, but no problems, no issues. Even in the smaller population town. Then again, I also wasn't disrespectful when I went through there, so that also might be another aspect, no denying that. And not that I was disrespectful in the area I'm going to get to until I was constantly annoyed. So all those areas. Johnson City, Johnson City in the state of Texas. No problem. <coughs> with how I look. I mean, there may have been, but not to what I dealt with. Now, in, in the Dallas area, that includes Plano and Frisco, all the, no problem. I mean, I got a few, 
but not what I dealt with when I got to the city of Austin, Texas. In Austin, where the theme of the town is Keep Austin Weird, the amount of people who actually came at me for how I look, I was, okay, I expected if I was going to deal with that, I would have dealt with that in this town or this part of the town. I'd expect if I was going to deal with that, I'd expect this over here, over here. No, 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 in the city of Austin. I, I, and I don't know, and, and the fact that the majority of them were college students that came at me, it was one of those. What? <laughs> this is Austin? What is the theme? The theme is keep Austin weird? No, this is weird. Oh, I, gee, you are going with the theme because this weird. This is just weird for you as a college student to be coming at me. <laughs> Have you seen what other college students look like? You wear pajamas to class. Irony in certain regards of the scene. Which I actually did get grief over. I actually had, so I had went to a few events and these college students had come up to me various times. Usually it was the females. Usually, it usually was not the males. There were a few males and then we had words and then it was over. <laughs> it was they, they went and had their tail tucked between their legs and went and complained to a bunch of, and usually probably sent over females thinking I was going to be nicer. That didn't go the way they planned it with certain ones that I know did that. And so, at a couple events, I showed up different corset outfits. And in the scene, most knew me as Lady Dory Bell again, or if friends or friends like family call, were able to call me Dory, you know, and some knew my, you know, outside of the BDSM lifestyle name of Susan, Susan me like that whole thing, no big deal. And so a few times these college students had come up to me, they're wearing pajamas at a BDSM event. Now, <laughs> I was dealing with what I was dealing with in reference to my daughter and my son at the time. So, you know, I, I was going out to give myself a bit of time to, to, to kind of, you know, not be 100% in, engulfed in that sort of stuff that I was dealing with. And so, and then, <laughs> so one event in particular, these three different females show up with their little pajamas pants and they have little fuzzy slippers and these big oversized t-shirts and i'm standing there in a corset i've got a skirt on and whatever stiletto heels that i'm wearing because you know at the house obviously or in this case well not in this case because this is quarantine time and doing the videos but when in the house or whatever place I was living in, oh, okay, jeans and a t-shirt, pajamas, no big deal. Going out, I, I grew up in New Jersey. I grew up going to New York and, and Philadelphia, Pittsburgh. You don't show up to any event unless the specific theme is pajamas, in pajamas. You show up to an event in pajamas, you don't even get to stand in the line. Like, you, you, you will not stand in, you will not be allowed anywhere near the vicinity of the line. The bouncers will come pick you up and put you on the other side of the street. Literally. Hey, why'd the chicken cross the road? Because the bouncers picked him up and put him on the other side. <laughs> <clears throat> so, you know, in this one particular event, what was it where I was wearing? Yeah, I've had so many corsets that I, I, don't, I know I was wearing a tutu, and even then, it's... <laughs> Which one? 
had a few. So, you know, Lady Dory Bell and whoever, I, I know I was speaking with a bunch of dominants and I just turn around and I'm like, what do you want? What? I was speaking with these individuals, but what? And, you know, well, college students. Um, why? And then the three of them kind of <laughs> together uh, look over at the dominance and they're just like, <laughs> they didn't laugh like that, but they did laugh. And just, oh, oh no. All right then. And so I'm standing there, I'm like, what? And so then they finished doing it. <laughs> I was in the middle of speaking with someone. You see this group of dominants that I was speaking with? What do you want? And one of them jumped back a little and goes, Lady Dory Bell, why do you have to be so mean? Mind you, if I'm not mistaken, it was a leather event. So it was one of those... You are not being presented to me to speak by a dominant. You are not introducing yourself in a specific manner. And you want to call yourself a submissive. And I am failing to understand what you want. Dominance I was speaking with. Devour their souls. Yes, we're gonna get to watch. Yay! <laughs> Is the equivalent. And so these little college students. So, Lady Daribel, what? I just like want to know. Come on, speak. You got my attention. What? And so the other two kind of just, oh, oh, she going, oh, I, I think we kind of bit a little bit more off than we could chew. And so <laughs> a few minutes went by with this. And then I go, will you spit the cum out of your mouth so that way you can speak and tell me what it is you want to say? Spit the spooge out. Open it up and speak. You obviously have interrupted the discussion the dominance and I were having. So what do you want? That point, the other two <laughs> just kind of <laughs> and the one for whatever reason, decided to get emboldened. And she stepped forward and she was like, um, I don't know how you know that. And I was like, because I can smell it on your breath, that's why. But continue speaking. What? But take a few steps back because I don't want to smell that off of you. And it was just, <gasps> dominance roll. <laughs> Lady Daribel, what? I just wanted to let you know. It is the spooge still in your mouth and it's like in between your cheeks and your teeth. And that's why it's like gum in your mouth and it's hard for you to formulate the words to come out of your mouth. What? Lady Tori Bell, that was so mean. <laughs> and that, that was the equivalent of my love. I just, uh-huh. What about me right now makes you think that I'm like fluffy? I mean, at that time I was wearing a corset. <laughs> I 
Okay, maybe my tutu did, but I mean, you know, my tattoos were showing. And what about my Methuselah tattoo makes anybody think I'm fluffy? I think that's a big sign to be like, so she not fluffy. <laughs> maybe someday she kind of could be ish, but she definitely not a fluffy fluffy. So the, the little, you know, little girl, well, Lady Dory Bell, you didn't have to be so mean. Again, you interrupted my discussion with the dominance at a leather event. You are wearing a collar with whatever you're wearing, and you still have yet to explain to me what it is that you actually want to say. Well, Lady Dari Bell, yes, yes, we have established that is my name. Could you get to your point? And when she looked back, like her two friends were on the other side of the room, like, no. <laughs> Never mind, we, we might have said we had you as backup. We backed up over there. That's how that's that's how that went. And the female just looks at me and she's just well, I just wanted to tell you that I don't like the fact that you look the way you do. Then don't look at me. And the look that came over her face, <laughs> pun intended in some ways, <laughs> was complete atrocity. Like, like, I just shattered her entire world because I was not upset. But then, you know, at other events, similarly, I don't like the way you look. I don't care. Well, you have tattoos. Yes, I do. And what's your... Am I the only person in the city of Austin that has tattoos? I don't think so, but, you know, again, going back to keeping that theme of keeping Austin weird because of all places in the state of Texas, I did not expect Austin, Austin, to be the place where, how dare you have tattoos, Lady Dory Bell? I kind of thought that in this part of the state of Texas, I would have the least amount of problems. <laughs> When it comes to having tattoos, I kind of figured in, in the Austin area, that would be the least of an issue. And then, you know, well, you know, you, you don't have to wear corsets, you know. I could wear whatever I want. If you don't want to wear corsets, don't wear corsets. But do not tell me what to wear. Which is ironic that you're in college. Do you not have certain classes that teach you to, like, be respectful? Didn't you learn that in kindergarten, not to be the way you are right now? And when I said that, it, <gasps> Lady Dory Bell, that was so mean. That was mean. <laughs> that's where you want to say that that's where you want to throw a temper tantrum and say that that's what was me that's where you find me to be me whoo we can never play and then wait what we as in you and I not ever go play why not? Was that your version of flirting? Well, no, but why, why won't you play with me? If you're doing the equivalent of in kindergarten where a male picks on a female and then, you know, later admits, you did go quiz with me. <laughs> Are you in kindergarten? No. Okay. So you have 
as many times as you've told me to use my words. You have words? You should be cabbage. I'm <laughs> gonna fold me. Ooh, you gonna fold me. Unless, like, college is not what I have thought it to be. Because when I think of college, I do not think of people who dress up in pajamas outside of their dormitory room. I, when I think of college, I think of people who dress appropriately for whichever class that they're going to. And to be respectful of the teacher or professor, you wear, you know, as a female, pants, jeans, slacks, whatever, and a, and a whatever shirt. And then you're here in this. While it's not a college, it is a BDSM, whichever party. You're showing up in pajamas and you know it's an event. So does that mean in college you dress less than that? Because if that is how you dress to a known event, I kind of feel bad for your professors. And at that point, the dominants that I was speaking to were huddled in the corner, just pointing and laughing at the submissive that had come in. It, she, she picked on the doorbell, the doorbell, <laughs> she, she going to devour it, yeah. <laughs> How many seconds do you think it is, it's going to be before the, 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 the female starts crying when Lady Doorbell, I, I don't know, maybe her lip will start quivering, just, me, 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 and, you know, something along those lines. As well as, I'm still waiting for your purpose to, why you are annoying me. Well, you just... You shouldn't look like that. I'd rather look like this than like this. And everybody in that area, I think it was in the, it was wherever it was where it was like a big long, it was wide and it was a long kitchen. And, and then like the living room area was nearby and then there was the patio area to go outside and smoke. And <laughs> that was so mean, Lady Dory Bell. I'm just telling you, I don't like anything about you. I don't like your hair. I don't like your tattoos. Why are you picking on me? So when I grew up going to church, which is church? I'm not done. You, you just shut your mouth so that way I can say this. What? When I went to church, the pastor repeatedly told the congregation and in specific children, you have two ears and one mouth. And then she looked at me after a few minutes. I'm getting ready. I got my purse. I'm going through it to go get, you know, find my cigarettes to go outside and get away from that. And she looks at me. What does that mean? You got two ears and one mouth. Uh-huh. That means you should speak half the amount of time that you're listening, child. I'm gonna go smoke, you guys. <laughs> you go do that, lady doorbell. You go, you, you do it. You make a stay right here. We smoke, but we're not going outside. We're going to stay right here because we want to watch this submissive <laughs> start losing her crap. Okay, you guys, enjoy yourselves. I'm on the outside smoking. Let me know how much she cries. <laughs> High five. And just go outside. 
Lady Dory Bell, what? I was like right at the door, what? You shouldn't have tattoos in this state. You know what? When the people in charge of the state of Texas tell me that I'm not allowed to have tattoos anymore, which I don't see that happening because there's that whole constitutional rights thing, um, then I'll care. Until then, you can keep your opinion and shove it where the sun don't shine because that's exactly what I think about you and your opinion. And out the door. <laughs> But it was not the only time. The amount of times that I dealt with just how dare you look like that, Lady Dory Bell. But we're in the Austin area, right? Yes. Maybe you should reevaluate what keep Austin weird means. Because this, this, this is a little weird. This is, like, this is like the hippie area. And you're losing it over me having tattoos? I do not understand this. I already deal with headaches and migraines, but you are making my head hurt. Because I am trying to understand why I, you think that I cannot have tattoos in this area. Of all areas in the state of Texas. I am so confused. <laughs> my head literally hurts. More. <laughs> And it hurts a lot every second of every day. But it is starting to hurt more now. And I do not understand why. <laughs> In this part of the state of Texas, I have to deal with this. So, later, <laughs> the, the male that I was engaged to, and I had, there was the break, and then, and then we got back together, and... We were re-engaged at that time, and um, <laughs> I had um, told him that dress. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you know, you, you, you were dating and stuff, but you and engaged, but you're gonna wear A B C D E F G, and then when we get there, I'm gonna put the cuffs on you. Oh, okay, okay, good, good. I'm glad you let him. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> like, yeah. You yeah, look so good in those cuffs I had made just for you. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> and so <laughs> get to the event, go inside. I was like, come on, let's put your cuffs. Okay, 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 cool. <laughs> It was so cute. It's so cute. He was so excited to wear those cuffs. I'm like, oh, yeah. You're cute. <laughs> yeah, you're cute. You're cute. <laughs> so I was again wearing a corset. <laughs> that time I was wearing a pencil skirt. And I thought, or no, knee high boots. But I had a crop and a cane hanging from one hip. And a crop and a paddle hanging from the other hip. Or one, no, no, no. One paddle on each hip, one crop on each hip, and one cane on each hip. They all had, you know, things that I could attach to my belt that I was wearing. And, you know, holding on to the leash of my then fiancé, who had a collar around his neck, cuffs on his wrists, cuffs on his ankles. We're outside, we're talking. Yes, you are so cute. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you look so good. Yeah, look at you. You're such a cute yes. Now, then there's this male on the other side who essentially, I had forgotten this point earlier, where a group of females that's like, mm, just go outside, it's just no big deal, whatever. Apparently, he, I don't know what he was thinking. But he, he walks over to where my then fiance and I are standing there and smoking, and he's, you know, smoking. I'm holding his leash. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you 
jingle, 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 jingle. <laughs> and so, you know, we're talking, the male comes over and I look and I'm like, yes. And he looks me up and down and my then fiance kind of, yes, you're so cute in those chains. Look at you, look at you. <laughs> I'm a big Kerrar tanker. Yes, yes, you are. You're so cute. Yes. Yes, you're such a big tanker. You're such a big tanker. What? <laughs> he looks me up and down again, and I'm just kind of it's like, aww. <laughs> you're so cute. You're so cute. What? And he goes, so, uh, Again, holding the leash to my then fiance who had cuffs. I'm a collar and I'm holding the leash. And the corset aspect doesn't necessarily matter as much as the paddle on each hip, the crop on each hip, and the cane on each hip. <laughs> as I'm holding the leash in a pencil skirt. What? So you're a submissive, right? And, and my fiance kind of all, oh, look at you, puppy chest. You're so puppy, puppy. You're so puppy. You're so puppy, puppy. You're so puppy. You're so puppy. <laughs> what about me looks submissive? <laughs> Maybe not necessarily right now. I don't know. But nonetheless, what about, <laughs> and, and I'm looking at like, you know, my tool belt essentially. Like, I don't know. got a leash in my hand. The leash goes to... Someone who is collared. Where do I look? And at that point, two masters in the leather BDSM community are coming out of the door from the living room to the patio. And they, they, oh. <laughs> one another. <laughs> they're like, did, did that guy just ask Lady Dory Bell? <laughs> If she's a submissive, because they were two different heights, so the taller one they met in the room. I think he did. I don't understand. She's holding a leash, and then met her. Yeah, she's holding a leash. And she, do you see her tool belt? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so. So then he goes, so you're not a submissive. No, I am not a submissive. No, there is nothing about me that is submissive in this scenario whatsoever at all. And my then fiance, I be good taker. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> I use switches, but I am not a switch. It looks at me, and I'm talking with my then fiance at that point, and then <laughs> continuing to look at me. My yes, you such a big garage tanker. Yes, you are. You should go. So are you a slave? At that point, those two males step outside. <laughs> like cycle like they like almost like soldiers where each step was insane. I was like Ooh, 
No. Again, looking at the leash in my hand, which led to five different points of my then fiance that each had a cuff and then the one collar around his neck. And I don't know. <laughs> and he just. So girl, right? Yeah, <laughs> I've got it. Oh, take care of it. I can do it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You know what? No, I know. I'm gonna take care of it. I'm a tinker. Yes, I know you're a tinker. <laughs> you're such a tinker, right, baby? Yes, you are. I got it. Do you see the leash in my hand? And the man here. See how the chains for that are attached to the leash go to this male cuffs in his collar that he is wearing? Male looks at my then me other. Yeah. So those cuffs and collar are on my fiance? Yes. And I'm holding the leash? Yeah. Look at my tool belt again. <laughs> so. Then the male says, well, then what are you? And at that point, <laughs> those two masters took a few steps closer to that particular male. And I, was, and I said, I am a fucking dominant. And they just kind of swooped in. And because at that point, when I said that, the male goes, well, I got a paddle that you can <laughs> No, be glad that they're taking you off. Well, after that, there were a few college students who came around and were like, oh, who is that? Oh, it's my fiance. Oh, he's cute. Yes, I know he's cute. That's why he's my fiance. I don't understand why you think I can. Oh, well, you know, I mean, they eat Dory Bell. And mind you, these are the same females that had similarly had conversations, discussions, whatever, as far as how I looked. Well, you know, just wondering how he could look at someone like you like that. Like what? Well, you know, Lady Dory Bell, look at you. And then look at your fiancé. Thank you. Yeah, but, you know, you look like that, and he looks like him, and then, you know... Uh-huh. Well, how could you be with, like, how could you be good enough to be with someone like that? What did you do to him? Nothing. I, I mean, I, I, I've done things. <laughs> oh, I don't deny that. Um, but it was consensual. And, you know, we had fun. So, and at that point, it, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, Lady Dory Bell, look at you. Yeah? And then look at him. I know what he looks like. Yeah, but Lady Dory Bell, look at you. What, is my corset, like, twisted to the side? Hold on. You know, just... <laughs> okay, it wasn't centered. Okay. That's happened before. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. No, but still, what is my corset? No, 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 Lady Dory Bell. Look at you. You've got your red hair. Oh, well, hold on. <laughs> yes, yes, my hair is red. You are accurate. Yep, that's red. 
Yep, 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 that's right. And you have a corset on. Well, at that time I did, but obviously not right now. Yeah, uh-huh, I put it on myself. And then when I said that, they were just, wait, what? I put my corset on myself. That's impossible. Nope, no it is not. You know, back when corsets were originally made, those who did not have servants to put their corsets on for them did put their corsets on themselves. And then there were plenty of royalty that did not want any of their servants to actually put their corset on for them because they were extremely particular about how their corsets were put on. And so to prevent the loss of another servant, they just did it themselves. So, you know, I know how I like my corset to be. So, yes, I can put my corset on. People have done it for a while. Why? And what does that have to do with this? Well, look at you, Lady Dory Bell, again, in the Austin area. <clears throat> I mean, you look like you. You have all those tattoos. Uh-huh, yeah. Okay, so what? Well... And then they asked him, and they were like, do you have any tattoos? And I'm like, so I know that I have made it abundantly clear that I am very much based on etiquette and leather protocol. So if you have a question, you go through me. You don't go to him, you go through me. You know he is wearing cuffs and collar. I got the leash, so... Ugh, Lady Dory Bell, just ew. Again, I'm waiting for your purpose. Well, Lady Dory Bell, I'm just wondering how he could be with someone like you because you look the way you do. And then they went back to attempt, and he just looked at me like, <laughs> goes and steps behind me. He's like, she said, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> You're so cute. But yeah, so, you know. <clears throat> well, you know, Lady Dory Bell, if you didn't look like the way you do, I would actually respect you. Am I supposed to be offended? And then they, they yeah, you are. Oh, okay. Well... Here's a, here's a hint. The fact that I asked you if I'm supposed to be offended should have been a big sign for you that I'm not. I mean, I'm offended by you <laughs> having the audacity to speak with me in such a manner. Um, but if you were expecting another form of me being offended, I think you failed. Big time. I'm fairly certain you actually I don't think you failed. I know you failed. Shouldn't you be studying for your test or something? Because you're in college. Instead of berating me and my fiance slash permissive. Hmm. Well, Lady Doribel, I just don't know how you could think that you're okay and it's acceptable for you to walk around this city, in this state, I mean, in the state of Texas, how dare you? I would, it just... What are they teaching you in college that makes you think that the constitutional rights don't exist? Because if it wasn't for the constitutional rights, I wouldn't look like, I'd, I mean, there's a few other reasons but I still have the legal right to. So I'm just gonna throw this out there. Anytime from this point forward, if you ever dye your hair, not that you don't already, because please, you are not that hair pure color naturally, uh, but if you ever get a tattoo, you will instantly at some point know how hypocritical you are forever commenting. If you ever wear a corset, 
you are a hypocrite. Anything that you have come at me about right here, right now, know at some point in time, you are going to be nothing more than a hypocrite for everything that you attack me. Whatever, Lady Dory Bell. Okay. Why don't you have any respect for me, Lady Dory Bell? I think I listed a few reasons. And at that point, my... <laughs> Be gone, thou bee. I don't have time or patience. But going on, there, there are many, many events that were similar to that, again, always in the area of Austin. While I did get grief in certain areas in, in Dallas, at certain events, not nearly, not one event in Austin that I did not have a situation like that, where it was, how dare you have tattoos, Lady Dory Bell? Well, you know, excuse me for having that head injury. My bad. You know, I mean, if that drill, because there were points after, after, it was like a few months, I got so tired of it every weekend. And it was just one of those, yep, my bad, excuse me, you know, uh, if you could find that drill sergeant and tell him to go back in time and not throw me into the metal part of the bunk, that'd be great. Because, hey, that I wouldn't have had a head injury, subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain, been in a coma, deal with the after effects of that subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain, have those headaches and migraines, not forgetting those memory issues and cognitive disorders, and then, you know, having gone from college algebra with trigonometry and calculus to second grade math, and then I wouldn't have to have the tattoos. But, you know, since that can't happen, you know, my bad, excuse me, <laughs> sorry about that, you know, if it wasn't for that, you know, I probably wouldn't have any tattoos. Well, Lady Tori Bell, how dare you have that hair? Oh, yeah, my, again, you know, excuse me for those headaches and migraines. And I mean, you know what? You can go in and find my biological family and let them know that the genetics that they passed on to me, how dare my hair be so heavy? Yep, but that's not my fault. I was just born this way. Well, Lady Dory Bell, you know, you just... You just don't have to look like you do. Well, see, there's that genetic issue thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, my face, I mean, despite the fact I'm wearing makeup, nonetheless, you know, that goes back to those genetics. And while you probably would get much further with my biological mother, I guarantee you, you do not want to speak like this to, to my guarantee. Well, who's my father? That would be my biological father. And, and if you think I mean, <laughs> I learned from him. I didn't learn from Anna. I learned from him. And so, you have no idea how nice I am. If you ever met him when he was angry, or, you know what, if you ever met him when he was slightly in a bad mood, <laughs> just slightly in a bad mood, you would think that I am as sweet as candy. Ma, that's only, you know, you don't want to go past the point of him being in a slightly bad mood. Because, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm the nice one of the two. I have so much patience in comparison. He, on the other hand, well... No, I learned a lot from him, though. Like what? Well, I, I was taught how to use tools, not in the BDSM way, but I had a lot of fun during when I was a child. And then, you know, because there were things that I had to clean up, and I was like, why is this on here? Hmm, well, yeah, I guess I'll just clean that. Oh, I guess it's chips, so I guess I'll clean that. And, you know, and then you know, I learned how to garden because he taught me I like to garden. 
but I only planted the, the bulb. I wasn't allowed to handle the other stuff that he used for fertilizer. But I learned a lot. Learned how to do jewelry stuff. So, you know, I'm really nice in comparison. Oh, whatever, Lady Dory Val. You just don't need to be in Austin, or you know what? You don't even need to be in the state of Texas looking like that. You're such an eyesore. And don't look at me. If you don't look at me, I won't be an eyesore to you. Duh. For you being in college, I didn't think that would take a head injury to figure out. You are so mean, Lady Doryville. Mm. If you see the words that just came out of my mouth were me, don't ask me what I'm thinking right now. What does that mean? That's a better question. Good. Why don't you scooch with me? I would like to spend time. And then, you know, toddled off or whatever. It's like, yeah, go throw your titty baby temper tantrum. I don't care. But, you know, various, various situations. And usually those types of situations only in the Austin area state of, of the state of Texas. I, I cannot recall a time in San Antonio Ever, actually. I cannot think of a single time in the city of San Antonio where I repeatedly at multiple events over and over ever dealt with. I did deal with the fact that, you know, Temple of Flesh had photoshopped my tattoos out for the poster thing. Um, but I, I had to be told of that later, but nobody said anything to my face. Except for the guy who actually did it, and he apologized. And I was like, okay, well, I didn't even know that happened. <laughs> but thanks, I guess. I don't, I mean, it's what it is. A little late now, they already sent it off for the printing, right? Yeah, well, okay. That's what it is. But as far as Dallas, I mean, when that happened, it was usually at a club for an event. I do admit that that was usually where it occurred. Um, but in Austin, multiple events. Ironically, usually the only event in Austin where that didn't happen would be either the Dallas Mentors Dominant Program that I was a part of and graduated in Dallas, but started in Austin, and um, Club Femme in Austin. It was the only place. Other than that, if I went to an event anywhere else, Never failed the little college students at that time. Oh, how dare you look like that, Lady Doryville? I don't care. I'm the one who has to deal with what I deal with, not you. And if you don't like it, look somewhere else. I mean, I, I'm I'm five foot four. <laughs> there are plenty of other places for you to look. So. Again, I still going along with, well, that definitely was weird, but I guess, you know, that's, is that what the point of that irony was for them? I don't know, but that's what I had to say in reference to that. Although I never was as mean as they attempted to try to get me. They kept trying to get my goat, and it's like, you really don't understand you have no idea how nice I am being. And even with that, you know, spit it out on the ground like that is so nice. I mean, I, those who have met people who grew up in the state of New Jersey, I'm going to the five boroughs in New York in the 1980s and 90s and was in the military. So nice. Such pretty.
pretty words, but apparently those words were so scary because they were the truth. And that seemed to be the problem. I guessed it. Have a good one.